Hello and welcome everybody to New Year's Eve 2018. Goodbye, we loved you. Welcome 2019. We have a lot in store. PokerChipForum.com is our sponsor. Be sure to visit me on PokerChipForum.com. Create an account. They have wonderful tools on here. Design your own chips. That's pretty awesome. Breakdowns, how many of each chip do you need? You can find out right here, PokerChipForum.com. I'm on here all the time. You can even write me a private message. My screen name is Hobby Philic. Any questions you have about anything, go ahead and shoot me a message. Now, we are going to shuffle up some faded spade cards. So, real quick before we start, I'm asking the question, what are some of your favorite things of 2018? It doesn't even have to be poker related. Anything. Whatever interests you. New cars. New yachts. New golf clubs. Whatever it is. Faded spade came out with their Faded Spade 2.0 in 2018. I'm excited about these. PVC seem very durable. Other things, the Tiki King plaques. Oh my goodness, love these. The presidential plaques, love these as well. It's funny with presidential things like politics. This is Trump on $100. It's just a plaque, right? They're just for fun, but people get all bent out of shape about them. <laughs> it's like when I, a few, was it last year or the year before, I had a deck of, pre, of presidential of presidents, right? The presidential deck from Bicycle. And I was excited because I'm like, look how awesome they have President Obama on here. And I, I got political grief for that. And they're like, how dare you show a political figure? on Now I'm showing Trump, right? Is that my, What's that? And then people also get bent out of shape about it. And it's, it's just funny. It's like, whatever, you know. I'm, I'm just excited about this equipment, you know, and presidents of the United States always uh, seem to, you know what would not sell? The idea of like, putting President Obama and Trump on the same plaque. Can you imagine? Because like, it's so divisive. So many people would, I would buy them because I don't care. But like so many people would be like, oh, I hate this guy and I love this guy or I love this guy and I hate this guy. And so they wouldn't buy it because they hate half of it. When, the true love-hate plaque right there. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Did you know that I spent, I think I mentioned this before in a video in, what was it? On the election year, I stayed in Caesar's Palace when Hillary Clinton was staying there. I made me proud. I'm like, I stayed, and I was going to tell everybody, I stayed in the same hotel that Hillary, that the president of the United States stayed in, the future POTUS, but she lost. So <laughs> that's how I can say, well, in the same, same hotel. So faded spade, we need some, okay, so 2018, lovely 2.0. Okay, let's see, we need some chips, just grabbing stuff here. Should we do some... Is that even close to realistic? Maybe this. We'll do that. Black and blue. I'm not saying there's no, it's not black. It's just been beat up. That's all. It's, that's just how it is. You know how I do so poorly on these hands. So shuffle up at home. Deal yourself two cards like so. We're not playing for anything, obviously. We could have the same hand. And we're just going to uh, run a hand here on New Year's Eve. This is your predictor for how rich you're going to get playing poker in 2019. It's already looking really... Let me see what I have here. I'm going to tell you if I would raise this. You know what's funny? Is depending on the table, depending on the layout, it's likely I would raise that hand. So, And I'm not just saying that because of the flop. Oh man, you see, and I get, I always get back into these odd situations like this. This is a very hard hand to finish on, depending on a lot of things. How many people, how many people are playing here? But I had some pocket fours, which I like because, you know, they look just like aces. Good job. Way to go. Pocket rocket lookalikes. Let us know what you had in the comments below. I'm losing my voice. I am recovering from the flu. I'm a recovering flu victim. Hello, my name is John. So as far as poker chips go, I showed you some plaques. I showed you some cards. I, mean, I just picked three decks, not decks, three poker chip sets that I have samples of that I really liked in 2018. And I'm not even sure if two of these were released in 2018. It's just when I discovered them. So I throw them in that category of 2018 discoveries. The first one we want to talk about, Old West 
these Western poker chips, Old West, from BBO poker tables. Now, BBO, I didn't know they made, you know, ceramics. I didn't know they made poker chips. And then one day they like parachuted in behind enemy lines and like surprised everybody. They're like, surprise, we have poker chips. And I love the designs. Now, the chip quality is about what you'd expect for what you're paying, right? These are not super premium, high quality blanks. Um, there are some spinners here, but the designs are what really stand out to me as impressive. You know, and they're pretty affordable. The designs are great. They're ceramic, so they're going to be durable. I actually really like these. We see so much of this skull theme that seems to be related to the Old West. The Outlaw series. Skulls, Nevada Jack. Skulls. How many skulls can we put? Here, just one. Steer. A delicious steer right there. So... I really like these. I think they're fun. They're interesting. Bright, happy colors. Modern edge spot thinking right here. Don't have to worry about alignment. Uh, inexpensive. Just very usable, you know, happy set. I like that. 2018. I like that. Um, another one that I like are the Poker Chip Lounge Pirates. I don't think I've done a review of these yet. I Review pending. But it's just a fun... You know, a little set here. Again, bright colors, pirate themes. It's good to see a selection here. Remember, there are some differences in actually the, the makeup of these chips. Like, these have pretty flat edges. So do the BBO poker table, you know. Whereas the Tiki Kings are rounded and they don't ever stand up. So there are some subtle differences. These also kind of have a um, spinner issue. So, again, they're all just pretty different uh, by way of comparison let me just grab a random stack of nevada jacks here um, nevada jacks have been pretty good for me about no spinners obviously as these break in with kind of any ceramic they can get slick and you can develop spinners oh let's see do i have some others i'm in no rush by the way it's new year's eve and not gonna don't have anywhere to be just watch a big... In, I live in Georgia, so we have a big peach. Here's some Tiki Kings. Um, I have a big peach, you know, that uh, just rises up on a big stick, which to me seems awfully innuendo-ish. You know what I mean? What are you... Hi, Mom. Guess what I'm doing? I'm, I'm watching a giant peach on a stick. It's bouncing up. You're just like... Blah, 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 blah. So... Uh, in New York, you have a big apple. That's that's much better. What do they have in Washington State? Watch my big cherry pop, you know, on a big stick. Come on, people. So that's why I'm here playing with my poker chips. I should do, like, the rising, like, the rising poker chip. Do, 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 ding. Poker chip on a stick. Why? Do, I don't know why I shuffle those together. You do weird things sometimes. You do, I do. I I do weird things. I'm just kind of a weird boy. It's not like I have a poker chip channel or anything where I review poker chips. Grr. So, what's the third set that I really liked in 2018? Well, it's obvious. Monaco. Come on. How could it not be the Monaco? These are made in the GPI factory. And because they're made in the GPI factory, along with real casino chips, you only get white edge spots and you only get oversized inlays. They're beautiful. It's like, every time I see these, I'm like, yep, genuine Paulson factory poker chips right here. I love these. So for me, these are the chips. Should I make like, I should like make like an award, like a graphic. Hobby John, Hobby Philic, poker chip of the year, 2018, Monaco. I'll put links to where you can buy these in the description below. And um, while you're down there, I have an affiliate shop on Amazon. You can go on Amazon and you can purchase a few things. I make some money, some monies from that. Thank you from, for everybody who's purchased on there before. Uh, I make a few pennies off of every sale and I really appreciate it. So Monaco 2018 Poker Chip of the Year. We have a lot... A lot of stuff in the future. We have a lot, I don't. I haven't reviewed these. I haven't reviewed these. I have poker chips just kicking around here that I haven't reviewed that are all on the table slated for 2019. Thank you so much for watching. Visit our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. Great place. Great place for information about poker chips and just a friendly social community. My name is John Hobby. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.